two of my very favorite Superior Threads products are Texture Magic and Charlotte's Fusible Web. Texture Magic is a product that's used to create texture on fabric. It's simple and easy to do and we've got lots of videos to show you various ways that you can use it. Charlotte's Fusible Web is a fusible thread that's used to do applique quickly and easily. Basically, it's a thread that melts and that's how it makes your pieces stick together. I'm going to show you a little project that's fun and easy to do and combines both of these techniques. And what I did is made some little baby bibs. Each of these bibs has a, has a little animal applique to the front and to add some extra interest to those, I texturized some fabric using Texture Magic. For I'm, I'm starting another bib using the little lamb and for it I decided that I like the way texture shows up better on light color fabrics. So I took the fabric that was used in the back of this bib and I texturized a piece of it. You can see how different it looks just by adding that texture to it. And I think it makes it really look like a nice woolly little lamb. So I stitched the texture magic to my fabric and in this case I did an all over stipple stitch, just a meandering stitch that went all over the piece of fabric. And my stitches were probably about 3 8 to a half an inch apart all the way around. Then I steamed it and that's how I got the texture. After I have my piece prepared, normally when I would do fusible thread applique, I would trace my shape onto the front of the fabric stitch around it with the fusible thread in my bobbin and a slick thread on top, cut it out and steam it down. With the Texture Magic fabric, it would be difficult to trace this design on the front, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently and I'll show you what I do. I'll begin by tracing my shape onto the back of the of the texturized fabric. And because the Texture Magic lays perfectly flat when it's shrunk, it lays flat and it's just like marking it on any other piece of fabric. My favorite marker to use when I do this is an ultra fine point Sharpie because it slides really easily over the Texture Magic and it gives a line that's really easy to see. And because I've got so many layers there, I don't have to worry about it being removable. It's going to be on the bottom. And actually, when I do the fusible thread, I usually stitch a little bit inside this line, so I end up cutting it away anyway. So I'm just going to finish marking around this design. I think I've got them all. And there you can see I've got my sheep marked on there. My next step will be to stitch along these lines using my fusible thread. Now I want the fusible thread to be on this side of the piece of fabric because when I cut this out and put it down, I need the fusible there. So in this instance, I need to use my fusible through the needle rather than through the bobbin. We put a number 116 needle in the machine yesterday. So we've got a big needle and that's the secret to using this thread. It's a, it's a pretty heavy thread so you want to have a big enough needle that your thread's not going to shred as you go. Okay, I'm going to put the thread on the bobbin pin and then I will thread it just like I ordinarily thread my machine. So I'm going to go through each of the guides that I go through usually. Down through this bottom guide. If your machine has an automatic needle threader, you can use that. I always forget about it because I don't have one on my machine and I find it's easy just to thread the needle um, using, just like you would an ordinary machine without a needle threader. But it's, um, because you've got a big eye on there, that makes it really easy to thread. In the bobbin, you want to use a thread that's very smooth so that when the Charlotte's Fusible thread melts, this one is easily released. I'm choosing to use bottom line today. You could also use monopoly, which is another very smooth thread. So I'll put the bobbin in, pull it through the guide like normal. Put that in, 
lower my needle to pull that thread up, and I'm ready to go. So as you can see, it's just like using any other thread, nothing different. When I stitch using the fusible thread, I like to have as much visibility as possible, so I'm going to use my number 20 foot, which has a great opening here. The basic foot that comes with the machine also has a good opening, but I like the fact that this is cut out. So if you, if you don't have a number 20 foot, look through your feet and see what you have. You can also use the 37 because it's got the wide opening or a similar foot, but the main thing is you want to be able to easily see where you're going. So pick your foot accordingly. I'll put my foot on, and on this I could start just about anywhere. I'm going to choose to start in this. Corner. I'm going to lower my needle to make sure I'm inside that line and I want to stitch just a little bit inside the line that I've marked because after I'm finished stitching all the way around these shapes I'm going to cut this away and it'd be nice to be able to cut that line away if I can. I'm going to set my stitch length a little bit shorter than normal because again when you're going around curves like this I find it much easier if my stitch length isn't really long. So I'm going to go to about a 2 on my stitch length. And then I'm just going to, and I'm going to make sure that my needle is in the down position at all times so that any time I stop it's down in my fabric. That just makes life simpler. With the wonderful knee lift on the Bernina, I can just reposition my fabric each time I get to one of those curves. To get that thread out of the way. I'm going to stitch all the way around the shape and end back where I started. And then I usually stitch just a couple stitches beyond that to make sure that I have the fusible thread going everywhere all the way around. Then I can put my needle up pull this away, cut my threads off, and I usually cut them fairly close on the back. Cut the threads there. And I'm ready to go to the next step, which is cutting this out. Now I want to cut just as close as I can get to that stitching without cutting it away. So I'm going to start in here and again, as you can see, I'll be cutting most of my lines away because I stitched inside those lines all the way around. And I'll just cut this entire piece out. Now the beauty of doing this fusible thread is twofold. Not only is it going to be really easy to applique, but it secured my Texture Magic fabric on this side. So by doing that little stitch all the way around, all of my fabric is stitched in place and it's going to hold that beautiful texture. If I hadn't done that, if I hadn't had that line of stitching anywhere in here where I have folds and, I, and it wasn't connected to another piece, my fabric would have lifted up and it would have been more difficult in the next step to stitch those pieces down without getting puckers.